Six. She's been fighting for 10 years to stay in America and live rather than be deported to her native country where she says she would die. WISN 12 News Mike Anderson has been reporting Regina Bacala's story for a decade, and tonight he brings us her happy ending. That's a precious piece of paper. Yeah. It took a long time to get that. Yeah. Regina Bacala now has her United States citizenship in her hands and in writing. The former Congolese political prisoner was sworn in Thursday morning by federal judge Lynn Edelman. I was not imagined this moment, especially when I was in jail. I was not imagined this moment. That's now I just thank God for all the help. I am blessed. I'm very blessed. 12 News first introduced you to Regina 10 years ago from a jail cell in Kenosha where immigration officials were about to deport her to her native Congo. She secretly fled that country in 1995 after being raped and taken political prisoner. In March of 05, immigration agents removed her from her West Dallas home while her husband and two young children watched in horror. Sister Joseph Marie Flynn and parishioners at St. Mary Catholic Church in Hales Corners started a mission to save her. And to make an incredibly long, tedious story short, seeing her become a U.S. citizen is the result. I said to God, you just got to be there. You know, there's, I, I don't know what to do. And then people began to come to help. And that was, that was the miracle, really. We, had, we mobilized the whole city. I'm happy not to be called. American woman, <laughs> not a Congolese woman, now American woman. I'm very happy. She's an American woman, and as a fellow American, you have to be happy for her. She's been through so much, and she's now a full-time student preparing for her medical assistant license, and she also works full-time at an assisted living home. A true American woman. Yeah, such now. a positive person, too, but she she's is. home free, but her husband, David, yeah. also came to the U.S. seeking asylum. He did. Uh, David was uh, also suffering uh, persecution in Congo as well, and his immigration status at the moment is still in limbo, as his case is still working its way through the system. Them. And those adorable little kids mm -hmm. you saw back they then, now? they were this side. Right. They're grown folks now. Oh, my. Well, that one is in high school, and the, the boy is headed toward high school. Wow. So, yeah. An amazing family. And they were born here, so they're, you know. They don't have any worries at all, no. U.S. citizens. No. Oh, well, what a story. And good for Regina. Yeah, good for her. Well, thank you, Mike. Yeah.